Hi and welcome back. So in this video, so we are going to learn how can we write equations in point slope form and how can we transform from the point slope into other different forms. For example, the point slope is y minus y sub 1 equals the slope times the difference of x and x sub 1. Write the point slope form of an equation for the line that passes through each point with the given slope. For example, passing, passing through the point 2,1, label x1 is 2, y1 is 1, the slope is 4, doing the substitution. y minus 1 equals 4 times the difference of x and 2. In the second one, x1 is 4, y 1 is 9, so the slope is 3 quarter. y minus 9 equals 3 quarter of the difference of x and 4. In the last example, x sub 1 is negative 4, y sub 1 is negative 5, the slope is negative 1 half. Substituting y minus negative 5 equals negative 1 half times the difference of x and negative 4. y minus negative 5 is y plus 5 equals negative 1 half times x plus 4. Write each equation in a standard form. In the standard form, ax plus by equals c. c is just a constant without a variable. a and b are the coefficients of the variables x and y and those coefficients are integers applying the distributive property of the multiplication over the subtraction we get that y plus 2 equals negative 3x plus 3 Subtracting 2 on both sides of the equation, on the left and on the right, y equals negative 3x plus 1, adding 3x on the right and on the left, Now we get both variables on the same side, 3x plus y equals 1. Distribute the property of the multiplication over the addition. 5 third multiplies the sum of x and 3 y minus 4 equals 5 third x plus 5. Now to get rid of the denominator 3 in the fraction 5 over 3, so we multiply everything, the entire equation by 3, 3y 
minus 12 equals 5x plus 15. Cancel the subtraction of 12 by adding 12 on the left and on the right. Bring down 3y equals 5x plus 27. Subtracting 5x on the left and on the right. Now, negative 5x plus 3y equals 27. Both variables are on the same side of the equation. The opposite of negative 5x is positive 5x. The opposite of 3y is negative 3y. And that equals the opposite of 27, negative 27. So in the equation if 5x minus 3y equals negative 27. Write each equation in a slope intercept form. The slope intercept form, the variable y is isolated. So multiply the difference of x and 2 by 4. y plus 4 equals 4x minus 8. Subtract 4 on both sides. y equals 4x minus 12. So the slope is 4 and the y-intercept is negative 12. In the next equation, multiply the difference of x and 6 by 1 third. y minus 5 equals 1 third x minus 2. Adding 5 on the left and on the right. y equals one third x plus three. So the slope is a one third and the y-intercept is three. In the last example, so we multiply the sum of x and eight by negative one quarter. y minus eight equals negative one quarter x minus two. Adding eight on the left and on the right, y equals negative one quarter, x plus six. Negative one quarter is the slope, six is the y-intercept. And now an application in a real world problem. A construction company charges $15 per hour for debris removal. $15 is the rate per hour, so that is the slope. The slope is a constant rate of change. So a slope is 15, m equals 15. The total fee for nine hours of service is $195. That is a point. Nine comma 195. Label x sub 1, y sub 1. 
Now we are going to write the point as low form y minus y sub 1 equals m times the difference of x and x sub 1. Substituting y minus 195 equals 15 times the difference of x and 9. That's the answer for the question 22. Point slope form, slope intercept. Isolate the variable y on the left side using the distributive property over the subtraction 15 times x and 15 times negative 9 y minus 195 equals 15x minus 135 next use addition to cancel the subtraction of 195 on the left and on the right y equals 15x plus 60 where 15 is the slope is the rate and 60 is the slope intercept thank you until next time Goodbye. Thank you for watching.